The purpose of this screencast is to talk about factors. These will be in play all year long. We'll be talking about these different factors. Push and pull factors are those factors that brought people to the colonies and later the, the United States. So I'll be defining these and giving examples of these. And then political, social, and economic factors are ways to organize your notes. They're categories in which to put the ideas you come across in readings or in lectures. You put things into these categories. All right, let's get started. So Roman numeral one, that's an uppercase Roman numeral one, all the way to the far left of your page in the notes section is reasons to immigrate. Uppercase A is a push factor. And a push factor is something that makes you leave your country. It pushes you out of your country. Examples include war, famine, religious intolerance, political intolerance, and poverty. Famine is when there's not enough food available. Religious and political intolerance is when you are being discriminated against because of your religion. B, uppercase B, is a pull factor. And a pull factor is something that makes you want to go to the new country. It pulls you into the new country. Examples of pull factors include opportunity, like education or housing, freedom of religion, or economic opportunity, like jobs, for example, or just the, pl the place you're going to has a better economy, a chance to make more money or to support your family. So these are the push and pull factors, and we'll be talking about these with regards to colonial immigration first, but then later the second wave of immigration as well, and all the various waves of immigration is why people come to a new place. Roman numeral two, organizing your notes and ideas. So what I'm about to give you is going to help you organize your notes. Uppercase A is political factors. So sometimes your notes will have to do with political factors, and these help shape history. And it's anything related to the government or politics. So if you're taking notes and it's about a law or something to do with the government or politicians and politics, it's a political factor. And examples include types of government, the stability of a government, the power a government has, type of political system like a democracy, monarchy, or dictatorship. These are all political factors. Uppercase B, social factors. And this is anything related to or describing people. So whenever you're talking about people and how they interact with one another, it's a social factor. And you'll be reading a lot this year about social interactions of people. Lowercase b, religion, race, gender, children, ethnicity. If you encounter anything that is, has to do with religion or race or gender or how children are treated or how children live or the ethnicity or cultural background of people, that is a social factor. Finally, economic factors. And this is anything related to money or the economy. The economy is how money is made, like through industry. Taxes, jobs, strength of the economy, and opportunities. These are examples of facts that would be economic factors. So if you're talking about how money was raised or how people make how people are earning money or the strength of an economy. We're going to be talking about highs and lows in the economy over the course of the year, as well as economic opportunities that exist for people. So things that have to do with jobs, etc. So these are the three factors that you will organize your notes into over the course of the year. All right, this ends the screencast. Thank you.